The Apollo 11 space mission was one of the most historic moments in human history. It resulted, for the first time ever, in a man standing on the moon, placing the flag of his country and looking out towards the Earth from another celestial body. With that moon landing, however, there came several secrets that nobody really talks about, especially considering how momentous an occasion it was. From the secrets of the American flag planted on the moon to the pen that saved the entire mission, there are some bizarre things that are never talked about in regards to the mission. Make sure to stick around till the end. You wouldn't want to miss the harrowing disaster that the astronauts almost faced. Here are 15 secrets about the Apollo 11 moon landing. Number 15. Skipping nap time? When astronauts are sent into space, they're put on a very strict sleep, diet, and workout regimen in order to ensure that their bodies remain in shape. The human body is not built for the low-gravity environment of space, and therefore a lot of work was put into determining the optimal amount of sleep required to keep the body functioning. Because of this, the astronauts were mandated to take naps at certain points of the day. However, Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong, ever the troublemakers, were much too giddy on the day of their moonwalk to take their naps. Roger, Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to they called Mission Control in order to ask permission to skip the scheduled nap, and after some heavy deliberation, permission was granted. But this was only on the condition that they'd go to sleep as soon as they completed their mission. But this took much longer than expected. The astronauts were on the moon for over 21 hours, so even without Mission Control's request, it was very likely the two would have gone immediately to bed anyway. Number 14. The Rejected Names of Rockets when Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin figured out that they'd be touching down on the moon's surface, they initially didn't want to be in a seriously named craft. Because of, because of this, they put forth a number of suggestions as to what to call their ships, with the most popular being Snow Cone and Haystack. This was very likely due to the shape of the two crafts, as they did resemble those two names quite well. Altitude 4200. Go for landing, over. Unfortunately, though, NASA did not want the first manned flight to the moon to be riddled with jokes and sarcasm, so they vetoed the two names with the request that the astronauts be reasonable. Eventually, the names Eagle and Columbia were decided upon, and although they weren't puns or jokes, they certainly did become historic names recognized by many throughout the world. The Eagle Has Landed is perhaps one of the most well-recognized quotes of all time, all thanks to those two astronauts. Number 13. Neil and Buzz weren't alone. Whenever people think about the Apollo 11 mission, the first people to come to mind are Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. They were the ones who got to go down to the lunar surface to make history. However, they weren't alone during the mission, and the other man with them actually ensured that they could make it back home. Michael Collins was the astronaut that remained on board the Columbia while Neil and Buzz spent 21 hours on the surface. The only person around that doesn't have TV coverage of the scene. During that time, the ship orbited the moon 30 times, and Collins reported later on, saying that he was afraid that he might have to return home alone. The whole situation regarding the mission was riddled with uncertainty, and if Neil and Buzz weren't able to rendezvous with Columbia, it was very likely that they would have been stranded on the moon for the rest of their lives, which wouldn't be that long in space. Number 12. The Spacesuit of the Future when people think about spacesuits, the first thing that comes to mind is often the Apollo 11 suit that became so famous during its day. It was large, clunky, and difficult to move around in, but it seemed so futuristic at the time that it immediately garnered a place in science fiction and futuristic works for decades to come. Any flaw in the design could have been potentially fatal for the astronauts, so it was vital to make movement possible outside of the spacecraft while protecting the user at the same time. The production of the Apollo 11 spacesuit took three years, and it was designed to protect both from the vacuum and the sun's harmful rays piercing through the atmosphere. It's completely different from what I had so before. The suit was actually produced by a lingerie company, Playtex, which was known to produce feminine undergarments and baby products, and was commissioned to make the suits for NASA. They did their job well, though. There's not a single reported failure of any of the suits used during the mission, and they took many precautions during the construction in order to ensure the safety of the astronauts. Number 11. Secrets of the Flag 
When people think about the American flag planted on the moon, many believe it's still there. There isn't wind on the moon after all, and nothing up there should be able to knock it down unless there's an alien we haven't noticed. Despite this, there have been some changes to the flag over the years, just not from a source people would suspect. Although the moon had a fine and powdery surface that the astronauts left footprints on, there was actually a hard, rocky ground underneath that fine layer. Nothing more really is needed here, but it does seem that there ought to be some music. <laughs> Very good. This made it incredibly difficult to plant the flag, requiring the use of specialized lunar hammers meant for taking rock samples. Even with that, they were only able to drive it in about 7 inches. Buzz Aldrin also states that the flag actually fell over as they were leaving the moon's surface, likely due to the exhaust from the ship. And because the moon doesn't have a protective atmosphere like Earth does, it's very likely that the flag has been sunbleached to a pearly white by this point, meaning that the only flag up there on the moon is a knocked down, blank, brittle one left behind decades ago. Number 10. Back from a watery grave. The Apollo 11 space mission is often regarded as one of the most important undertakings in all of human history, as it was the first to showcase that humans had the ability to leave our world behind and venture to others beyond the stars. It's the mission in which Neil Armstrong first walked upon the moon, and the one that showed the rest of humanity that space travel was not some science fiction faraway dream. It was reality, and it had become reality very quickly. The engines of the Saturn V rocket were ejected from the craft as it shot up into orbit, as they would no longer be needed while in space. Having the heavy engines on board would just add unnecessary weight, which would increase fuel consumption, which was already quite tight. The engines were later discovered to have fallen to 14,000 feet below the ocean surface off the coast of Florida. Although NASA had planned to retrieve them, doing so would be unreasonably expensive, especially after such a costly endeavor. Because of this, they left them behind. That was until Jeff Bezos entered the space, pun intended, and paid entirely for them to be recovered from the depths of the ocean. And he didn't just keep them for himself, thankfully. They were donated to a space museum, where they're now enjoyed by all the visitors who come through. Number 9. Pieces of the Wright Brothers Aircraft the Wright brothers, Wilbur and Orville, were two American inventors who are credited with inventing and building the world's first successful airplane and making the first controlled, powered, and sustained heavier-than-air human flight. This was way back on December 17, 1903. In 1904 and 1905, the brothers developed their flying machine into the first practical fixed-wing aircraft. Although not the first to build and fly experimental aircraft, the Wright brothers were the first to invent aircraft controls that made fixed white-powered flight possible. Because of this, the people designing the Apollo 11 flight wanted to pay homage to the first manned flight during the first flight that would put man on the moon. It was only 66 years after the fact, after all, and airplanes were still relatively fresh in everyone's mind. As a tribute to the first motor-powered aircraft, the crew brought a piece of wood and fabric from the Wright Flyer inside of their spacecraft. Both the invention of the Wright Flyer and the Apollo 11 mission were enormous, monumental milestones in sustained human flight. Number 8. The Lost Footage Despite working out how to actually put a man on the moon, NASA wasn't a perfectly run company during the space race and often had incidents that are regarded as large screw-ups today. One of these massive mistakes is that they managed to lose a massive amount of original footage that was taken during the Apollo 11 mission. Despite the important event that it represented, 11 entire tapes of the event were lost. Columbia, this is Houston reading 11. Clear over. Yeah, this is and that actually includes the tape that showcases the first step of Neil Armstrong onto the moon. That's right, the original tape of one of the most important moments in human history was lost. The film that we have today is actually just a recording of a monitor displaying the original footage, which obviously diminishes the quality quite a bit. It's very important that such momentous information is not permanently lost to time, which makes it a shame that such a big moment was just lost by NASA. Number 7. Communion on the Moon One of the lesser-known facts about the Apollo 11 mission is that it was also the first time that a religious ceremony was performed on the moon's surface. Buzz Aldrin was an elder at his Presbyterian church at the time, and he performed a Christian communion on the moon, consuming some bread and wine in the traditional sense representing the body and blood of Christ. During the ritual, he requested a few moments of silence and thanksgiving. Forward, drifting to the right a little. 30 seconds. Forward, 
He ate the bread and poured the wine from a small plastic container into a chalice prepared by his pastor. The reason you may not have heard about this is because he had to keep it a secret due to a lawsuit. An earlier mission into space, Apollo 8, had read a section of Genesis, and there had been a lawsuit over it regarding religious implementation in a highly government-regulated mission. As such, Buzz Aldrin kept his communion comments more general, and when he did decide to read scripture, he did so off the air. He later broadcasted a more general passage, Psalm 8, 3-4, on their way back down to Earth. Number 6. Heaviest Rocket Ever Launched when people think about Apollo 11, not enough credit is given to the rocket that carried the astronauts to the moon. The Saturn V rocket was used by NASA between 1967 and 1973 in both the Apollo program and the Skylab program. The Saturn V was the first rocket to take humans to the moon and the heaviest rocket to ever launch into space. The rocket was 111 meters, or 363 feet, tall and had a diameter of 10.1 meters, or 33 feet. The rocket could carry up to 180,000 kilograms 260,000 pounds of payload, which is the amount of stuff brought up into the atmosphere. And that disregards the actual weight of the rocket, which was approximately 6.2 million pounds. The Saturn V was powered by five F1 engines. The engines burned a mixture of liquid oxygen and kerosene and could generate a combined 34.5 million newtons, 7.6 million pounds of thrust. It's incredible that something so massive was actually able to take humans to the moon. Before we go on, do like this video, smash that subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or the centipede will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. It's time for today's subscriber pick. This strange photograph was submitted by a viewer who claims that they received it while working in Area 51. This likely means that it was stored on a server maintained by the government and yet has never been released to the public, likely to avoid inciting a panic. What's interesting is that this photograph was able to be copied. It should be assumed that there are lots of file protections on all computers within Area 51. So the fact that this was emailed to us proves that someone there wants us to know the truth. Do you believe that this sort of alien has been captured and brought back to Earth? Or perhaps it was only a brief meeting on the moon? Remember to comment down below with the hashtag subscriber pick and let us know what you think. Now, on to the next topic. Number 5. A pen saved the mission. If it weren't for a small, felt-tipped pen carried by Neil Armstrong and the quick thinking of the astronauts on board, the Apollo 11 mission could have ended in terrible disaster. On July 20, 1969, the first men to land on the moon had been on the surface collecting rock and dust samples for almost three hours. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin were climbing back into the lunar module in preparation to return home when Aldrin hit the circuit breaker switch with the life support backpack on his suit. It broke and afterwards wouldn't complete a full circuit, meaning they were effectively trapped on the moon. Armstrong, however, thought that if they stuck the pen into the circuit, they could complete it and therefore rendezvous with Collins up above the moon's surface. Luckily, that idea worked and they were able to lift off in the lunar module to get back to Earth. If it hadn't been for that pen, there was a very good chance that they would have died up there. Number 4. The Last Apollo 11 Experiment when the Apollo 11 mission landed on the moon, they performed several experiments that were critical to advancing the knowledge of mankind. One of those experiments is actually still in use today. The Apollo 11 LRRR, or Laser Ranging Retro Reflector, is a cube corner reflector which is composed of six flat mirrors that are inclined to each other at 45 degrees, forming a cube. It's designed so that a laser beam striking any of the surfaces of the cube is reflected in a direction perpendicular to that face. Check this out. On one wall, we have... The reflector is mounted on a tripod and is approximately 13 inches or 33 centimeters tall. The Apollo 11 LRRR is the only reflector placed on the moon by humans that's still in use. It's been used by astronomers on Earth to make extremely precise measurements of the distance to the moon. These measurements have been used to study the moon's orbit, the Earth's rotation, and the changing shape of the moon's surface. It's also the only reflector placed on the moon that's visible to the naked eye. When the sun shines on the reflector, it reflects a bright spot of light that can be seen from Earth. This was unanticipated but is a cool reminder of how much work was put into getting that mirror up there. Number 3. Space Diseases 
launched, the Apollo 11 quarantine was a period of isolation that the crew of Apollo 11 underwent after returning from the moon. The purpose of the quarantine was to prevent the spread of any possible lunar microbes that the astronauts may have brought back with them. The crew of Apollo 11, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins were quarantined aboard the USS Hornet aircraft carrier. They remained in isolation for 21 days, the duration of which they were monitored for any signs of illness. No lunar microbes were found, and the quarantine was ultimately deemed a success. However, it was a precautionary measure that was taken out of abundance of caution. If there had been lunar microbes discovered, they could have spread rapidly as they'd never been introduced to humans before. The Apollo 11 quarantine has been cited as one of the reasons why there's not been a manned mission to the moon since 1972. The cost and logistical difficulties of quarantining astronauts for three weeks are significant deterrents to any future missions. Number 2. In events of disaster, it's no secret that many presidents will prepare multiple speeches after making large decisions, with the one that they give based on the outcome of the ordeal. President Nixon did this with the moon landing, and had a speech prepared in case of disaster. It's quite a chilling speech, and we're lucky that he was never forced to give it. The beginning of it reads as follows. Fate has ordained that the men who went to the moon to explore in peace will stay on the moon to rest in peace. Any man or group of men have ever these brave men, Neil Armstrong and Edwin Aldrin, know that there is no hope for the recovery, but they also know that there is hope for mankind in their sacrifice. These two men are laying down their lives in mankind's most noble goal, the search for truth and understanding. They will be mourned by their families and friends. They will be mourned by their nation. They will be mourned by the people of the world. They will be mourned by a Mother Earth that dared send two of her sons into the unknown. That's only the first half of the speech, but even that is enough to send chills up most people's spine. Number 1. Almost out of fuel Many like to believe that the Apollo 11 mission went off without a hitch, and that it was the perfect representation of a human plan being executed to absolute perfection. This, of course, was not the case. Due to some system malfunctions during the landing, Neil Armstrong had to take over the process manually. The Eagle had a built-in autopilot that was supposed to take them down to the ground automatically, but that section of the instructions failed. Armstrong had to take them to the ground, and he managed to do so like a trained professional. Upon studying what happened, however, there were quite a few terrifying things discovered. The most worrying of these is that the Eagle landed with only 23 seconds of fuel remaining, meaning that if Armstrong had taken just 23 more seconds to get them down to the ground, they could have been stranded. Many of the worst fears of the Apollo 11 mission involved stranding the astronauts up there, because it was very unlikely that they would ever be able to be rescued. Which of these secrets do you think is the most secretive? Did you know any of these crazy secrets from the list? Tell us in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. It helps us understand what kind of videos you like to watch, and that way, we can tell what kind of videos we should make for you next. Tap that bell icon so you're always notified of our newest uploads, and we look forward to seeing you in the next one.